drop a like in the next 5 seconds for 69 years of good luck. Do it quick. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. And in this video, I'll be showing you everything new in Fortnite Battle Royale. I pretty much have all the leaks, information, and much more. Now, real quick, we're so close to 4.4 million subscribers. So if you hit the subscribe button right now, you could be my 4 million 400th thousand subscriber and also a huge shout out to everyone who is using code shuffle gamer in the item shop if you do use the code be sure to let me know down below in the comment section by saying i use your code and they will give your comment a heart thanks to epic games for allowing me in their program now with all that said let's actually start with the video all right so a couple of days ago we received one of the biggest updates that we've ever seen first off we received a ton of new free added styles if you own the sunbird skin you receive two new added styles the moonhawk style as well as the moonhawk helmet off style when owning the mesmer skin you receive the trend style and when you own the bush ranger skin you received the blooming added style same goes for all their matching back blinks and pickaxes. They all look really cool. And not to forget about the Arctic Enforcer style for the Sledge skin and the Island style for the Heist skin. Next up, Epic updated the looks of the Hand Cannon. Meaning, we could expect to see the return of this vaulted item very soon. Next up, did you know that Epic added a secret challenge to complete? To complete this, head over to coordinate B1 at the top left corner of the map. Right over here, you will find a couple of new islands with its inhabitants, where this scene can be spotted. To complete it, you need to give them 100 wood. And after doing so, you completed the challenge named Coral Buddies, the Wood Age, giving you 25,000 XP. As well as this achievement right over here, got from the Primordial Ooze. Fun fact, they actually worship a statue of Fish Dick. And today, the water level has officially been lowered for the first time. Locations such as Steamy Stacks, Salty Springs, and Frenzy Farms are now completely flood-free. The next stage will be activated on Saturday, July the 11th. And here is an image of what the final stage is going to look like. It shows the OG map as well as some new locations. The first signs of the Aquaman POI can actually be seen in-game as of right now. Also, an insane XP glitch was found with the return of the one-shot duo's LTM. After you joined this LTM, all you had to do was make your way over to a location that grows cabbages. From there, it gave you the option to consume it or gather it. And when pressing the gather button, it would give you 109 XP. Now since you're inside of the one-shot LTM, consumables are disabled. And that's why the game completely glitched out. The cabbages were not showing up in your inventory, but somehow we were able to keep on pressing the gather button and collect all the XP, completing our punch cards as well as leveling up our battle pass. Unfortunately, it got patched within the hour, but nevertheless, a really cool glitch. Next up, you should all know by now, drivable cars are coming to the game as a brand new vehicle. In the trailer, not only this scene was shown, but also around the map, several posters can be found teasing cars coming to Fortnite. A total of four posters can be found around the map. Here are all of them on screen. This first one shows a sports car from Whiplash. The second one shows a sort of sedan car called Prevalent by Islander. This third one shows a western star truck called Mudflap. And last but not least, we have this fourth poster which shows a pickup truck by OG Beer. Also, all gas stations have received a change with the latest update. They all receive the same gas station signpost to help locate them, since they will be used to refuel the new vehicles when they are added. When hopping into a game right now and entering any vehicle such as a boat or a helicopter, it will display all the gas station locations around the map. There are a total of 12 gas stations around the map and they will be marked with this icon right over here. A race LTM has been found in the files. It is called Crow, and it will have a solo as well as a duo LTM. This icon was found with it, and same goes for all the following text strings. From them, we can conclude it's a race to the finish against other players. It's all about finishing first, but there are more ways to win. You can take out enemies, respawn at the starting line, use boosts, and gain fuel. Here is one of the animations of what it will look like when re fueling your car. Now the reason to why we don't have drivable cars yet is because the water level is too high. However, as the season progresses, the water level is going to recede. 
just like what happened today. Also, there's this loading screen named Icol Shotgun that you will unlock at tier 29 of the Battle Pass. You can spot two players driving a car, with the driver being a crash test dummy outfit and the passenger being an unreleased item shop skin. They tease how we can drive cars and shoot out as a passenger. Fun fact, this dummy skin can actually be found all around the map. There are chests everywhere with its legs and arms attached to it. And on this garbage dump, he can even be spotted himself. Right over here, between all the trash, this crash test dummy outfit can be found. From there, a new V-Bucks feature has been added to the game. It is called the Reload V-Bucks feature and will allow you to buy only the V-Bucks you need for what you want. This way, you don't have to pay for V-Bucks that you don't really need. Here is an early look at what this feature is going to look like. Now, as you all know, it's almost the 4th of July, which is of course Independence Day in the United States of America. Each and every single year, this is being celebrated within Battle Royale. Last year, did we not only get a 4th of July themed item shop, including skins, bag blinks, emotes, and wraps, but also the return of the vaulted fireworks item that is kind of useless. Now this year, it's gonna be even crazier. We're getting a brand new collaboration between Marvel and Fortnite. However, it is not the first collaboration between the two companies. Just like with the Avengers Endgame LTM, challenges, free rewards, item shop cosmetics, and Deadpool being the secret skin of last season. This year, within the item shop, we will see the appearance of a new superhero skin, being Captain America. This texture file was found within the game files, proving the skin is in the works. And here is a render of what the skin is going to look like. He will be sold for 1500 V-Bucks and its shield will be usable as a back bling and pickaxe at the same time. It will be coming to the item shop tonight. And best of all, it will be a complete Captain America themed item shop. So stay tuned for that. And talking about superheroes, the Aquaman challenges for week 4 and week 5 have been leaked already. In week 4, we will unlock the challenge, complete the swimming trial at Dirty Docks. And for completing this challenge, you will unlock the Supreme Shell Bag Bling. In week 5, we will unlock the challenge, claim your trident at Coral Cove. And fun fact, it can actually be spotted already in replay mode at this rock. And after completing this challenge, you will unlock Aquaman's trident. And from there, you can unlock the Aquaman skin itself with its additional Arthur Curry style. Fun fact, the yacht, which first belonged to Deadpool, got spray-painted by Aquaman. Deadpool now has a crown as well as a trident. Pretty funny, in my opinion. And over at the yacht, you will now even be able to find Deadpool's floaties. And after collecting three of them, it will give you a bunch of XP. Next to the skin, we're also getting a couple of new bundles. The first one being the Ghost and Shadow bundle, including three new skins as well as three matching bag blinks. Then being the Ghost Hush skin with Ghost Stripe back bling, the Ghost Wildcard skin with Ghost Hard Case back bling, and last but not least, the Ghost Chaos Agent skin with Ghost Ooze unit back bling. And all cosmetics of course do have a shadow edit style too, turning them into black instead of a white variant. There will even be a pickaxe bundle for this set. All three skins and back blings will have a matching harvesting tool. This bundle will be sold separately. It includes the Gold Crow Pickaxe, the Mayhem Scythe Pickaxe, as well as the Shadow Blades. A pickaxe for each of the three skins. From there, we have a new Henchman bundle that is still in the works. So far, it includes the Ghost Beach Brawler skin as well as the Shadow Beach Brawler skin. And to be honest, I am loving this bundle and it's not even finished yet. A Marshmallow bundle is coming to the game. Including including the Marshmallow Skin, the Marsh Walk Emote, the Mellow Rider Glider, as well as the Mellow Mallet's Pickaxe. And then last but not least, a new PlayStation Plus Celebration Pack is in the works. All PlayStation users out there will be able to claim this pack for completely free. It includes the Stratosphere Glider as well as the Down Arrow Control. Most likely, more items are going to get added to it, but those are unknown as of right now. And last but not least, we've received a brand new seasonal themed event. It is the Summer Splash 2020 event, and it already started this week. This event is bringing back the rotation of classic LTMs along with some new ones. So, we will finally see the return of a bunch of fun LTMs. From there, it will also bring us a bunch of old and new summer themed item shop cosmetics. So be on the lookout for that. I will go ahead and play some gameplay of everything right now. Enjoy!